Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very fine. Myself, Amit Kumar Mane, founder of Global Pharma Academy. Today we are going to discuss all about the interview questions asked in IKS for the clinical data management. Okay, so IKS is one of the CRO which has a lot of opening uh, for different different uh, uh, you can say the designation for pharmacovigilance also data management also clinical trial also medical writing also they are providing opportunities but for the clinical data management as our students are also placed so uh, from that uh, we are going to share here exactly the questions which we'll ask in the technical round but before that if you are new to our channel let me told you our channel provides various information related to the career opportunity the interview preparations according to the uh, company itself and then the different certification courses so let's get start i will told you here uh, that different interview questions in the iks so the first round is HR round. So HR round is common to all companies. So it is a personalized question such as tell me about yourself, your strength and weakness, why you are joining our company, uh, like after five years, where you see yourself and uh, after joining, how long you can stay with us. So and even the salary expectation. So this is all about this IKS, right? But about the next, that is the technical round. What are the questions uh, that you have to prepare and that should be asked? So let us have a discuss about this. First is what is type 2 diabetes, then what is the role of aspirin, then what is the difference between clinical and non-clinical data, then which drug is used in the treatment of urinary tract infection, then uh, did uh, any lab report if you saw then they will ask then what is urinary tract infection and its uh, medication, then what is the difference in type 1 and type 2 diabetes, What what is RBC and its function, then what do we mean by biopsy, what is vaccine, what is hypertension and drug, what is antibiotic drug, full form of ECG, then what is hypertension, then what is diabetes and drugs used, with? then what is obesity, what is endoscopy, then what are the hypertension drugs commonly used, and then any uh, anti-inflammatory drug data they also use, then what is the full form of MRI, what is vaccine, examples of the vaccine, what do you mean by colonoscopy, then uh, medical term related to the uh, hypertension, okay. Then uh, different types of the antibiotics, their uh, mechanism of action behind this. Then what is non-clinical data? What classification of hypoglycemic agent? Then drug for the upper respiratory infection. Then uh, how does colon cancer detect? Then insulin, uh, which organ secrete the insulin? And what are the function of the insulin? These are some of the pharmacy related or you can say anatomy physiology related question but at the same time for the clinical data management what do you mean by clinical data management then what are the role and responsibility of clinical data manager then what are the different phases associated with the clinical data management then uh, what is 21 CFR part 11 then what do you mean by IRB and IC and the responsibility associated with this then, so these are the all questions asked in the IKS uh, as a clinical data management training. So for applying, you can approach to the career portal of the IKS and then you can uh, uh, apply like you can uh, fill the, all the details there. Okay, the your information will be uh, saved in their database or even there are a lot of referrals also they are providing like whenever there is opening, you can check the uh, their uh, different associate. Uh, okay and even in the career portal in the linkedin different associate can provide the referrals and also uh, in the career portal also they will show so uh, even the, you can communicate with them on the mail or if you got any hr contact number you can communicate with them but this is the one of the company which provide the bulk opportunity for the clinical data management and the clinical trials also so uh, hope this video will definitely help you but if you want to know more about the clinical data management we are providing a three months training program or the certification course in the clinical data management where we provide you first complete domain knowledge then second skill development and third one is the placement assistance for more information kindly check the description or you can call to this number for more information or visit our website thank you for watching this video i wish you all the best